Well, maybe you stayed up late to watch the election results come in, or maybe there's always just so much going on in your life, you're just not getting enough sleep. Well, you're not alone. Three quarters of us report that we are sleep deprived. So here to help is holistic nutritionist Michelle Book with some natural remedies to help you get some shut-eye. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank a bit you of an unusual night, obviously. Yes. Many of us staying up late uh, to watch the election results come in, obviously. No. But why is sleep so important for us? Oh. I mean, we can issue it for one night, but really, this is something we really need to tackle. It, it, it really is. And even one night can have a, a negative impact. Oh. So we want to make sure that we're getting enough sleep. And at the Canadian Health Food Association, we actually conducted a national study, and three out of four Canadians said that when they're starting to feel under the weather, that sleep is the number one thing that they do. Yes. And it's so important because sleep, you know, has been linked to so many issues when it comes to our immune system. Our immune system cannot function optimally when we're not, you know, when we're not when we're sleep deprived. So going into cold and flu season, mm -hmm. if we're not getting enough sleep, the chances of us getting sick significantly increase. Of course, that's the number one thing I tell my kids. If you want to get uh, avoid the flus, you got to get enough sleep. So how can we do that? Let's start here. So very interesting, vitamin D. A lot of people oh. don't, yeah, a lot of people yeah. don't think about vitamin D and sleep. No. But vitamin D has actually been shown to help promote healthier, longer sleep, or sleep durations. Oh. This time of year, especially with the clocks sure. just going back. Sure. We're not getting enough of that sunlight to actually be able to manufacture vitamin D. So vitamin D supplementation, for a lot of reasons, is really you know pretty crucial this time of year, uh, especially when it comes to our immune system and our uh, overall health and happiness. Sure. Uh, so recommending vitamin D, very very important. L theanine as yeah, well. Yeah, this is one I'd not heard of before. Yes, and a lot of people are in the same the same position because L theanine is actually an amino acid that's found in green tea. Oh, okay. And L theanine has actually been shown to help. Uh, reduce anxiety and when we are less stressed, less anxious, we tend to sleep better. Right. But so, isn't there a bit of caffeine in green tea? There is, and that's why L-theanine as a supplement is a good oh, option I see. because it's, you don't get that caffeine that you would in green tea. Right. So, uh, you know, very interesting. As well as magnesium. Magnesium oh. is known as the original chill pill. So, oh, okay. helping to keep our blood pressure lower, uh, helping us to be more relaxed. Again, you know, having a magnesium supplement or magnesium powder and some water before bed is going to help to calm and it's going to help to again promote a healthier sleep. Oh, wonderful. Okay, and then finally, we've got some melatonin here. Melatonin okay. as well. We've heard a lot about this when it comes we to have. sleep. And but we know how does it work? Exactly. Yeah. That's a really great question. Melatonin actually helps to reduce the amount of time it takes us to fall asleep okay. and increase the amount of time we actually are asleep. So it's really helpful, especially for those who work shift work or if you suffer from jet lag. Right? Thank you very much. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And so, you know, it's all about going into the cold and flu season prevention. So talking about sleep, but exercise, nutrition, mindfulness, also really important uh, aspects. And these are four pillars that at the Canadian Health Food Association we have identified to help keep Canadians healthier and happier this winter. So on our website, chfa.ca, mm -hmm. we have all kinds of information about the pillars and all these products to, you know, really boost your health going into the cold and flu season. Wonderful, which is something we all need to stay safe and protect ourselves and stay well. Exactly. Wonderful. Michelle, this is great information, but I have a couple of questions for you. Uh, for sure. In terms of supplementation, how do we know how much to take? And, you know, that's a question I get all the time. Yeah. And it really comes down to individual. So oh. whether, you know, depending on your lifestyle, depending on your diet, you really want to speak to your healthcare practitioner okay. about what is best for you. And that's a really, you know, when we look at these products, when we think about changing our, our regime, we want to speak to our healthcare practitioner because what works for one person doesn't always necessarily work for someone else. Okay, all right. And what if this is something that you might have trouble either digesting or it may have other impact, like it's some sort of side effect with you? How do you know what's going to work for you? You know, and, and that's a good question too. And, and you do have to try, you know, have to try it out. Natural products are natural in nature. So that's right. one thing that, you know, we feel confident about. They can um, be very powerful though too, right? Exactly. So that's why you want to take them seriously. For sure, for sure. And, and talk to your healthcare practitioner. And it's all about, you know, that holistic approach. So mm. the nutrition, the mindfulness, the exercise. And it's all really important to, to layer this in. Mindfulness is extremely important when it comes to sleep. We're hearing more and more about the benefits of meditation. Stopping even to take three deep yes. breaths makes a really big difference because when we decrease our stress, we're able to increase the functionality of our immune system, which is very, very important. Absolutely. So, so many things to think about here. Thank you so much for your time, Michelle. Great ideas to get started here for a good sleep, which is something we could all use, couldn't we, Andy?